This is Sunday, October 2nd, 2011. My name is Reed Welch. I'm going to make a documentary video for YouTube. I'm going to ride the Trek bike to Commissioner Sarnoff's home area, Sarnoff Circle and Sarnoff Dog Park, and show the public the expensive redo of the park that is, in essence, Mark's front yard. It's all to benefit him. It costs public money. I'm also going to talk about illegal campaign signs. When I removed the first crop of signs last August 13th, Mark sent a cop out here who burst into my garage space and put a gun on my head. You can learn about that by looking at my video called Home Invasions by Miami Cops. So let's get on the bike in a minute and go for a ride. It's about two miles to Mark's house, about a ten minute ride. While I make this ride, I'll talk about campaign signs, and that's technically illegal. The sign ordinance, in effect since 1967, prohibits putting campaign signs on public easement swales. You can have one sign if you're a supporter of a candidate, and that sign should be up against your house. Mark totally disregards the law. She's a very nice candidate. Too. I don't care about removing these signs. Only Mark's signs. Why? Because I've got a beef with him, especially since the last month, August 13th, when I removed his illegal signs after weeks of warning. But I don't like him, and I don't want to see him reelected. And he couldn't, couldn't use his property's fence as a billboard area. He had upwards of six signs tacked to the fence. And I finally removed them, and when I did on that day, and came home and made the YouTube video, and posted it up. As it posted up and became visible, a cop burst into my garage space, and trained a gun on my head, and promised to shoot me if I moved. He was going to shoot me, but I showed him I already had the video evidence up. He didn't realize I was making a documentary video. But this is just one chapter of my beef with certain Miami cops and certain Miami politicians, including a couple of corrupt judges, Judge Mark King Laban, who warned me over two and a half years ago after my first ever arrest. He said, you'll get a withhold read. They'll forgive you. But if you go complain to police about the bad arrest, because it was an illegal arrest, they'll never forgive you. They'll never let you go. You'll be a marked man. Mark King Levan and I were personal friends 25 years ago. I used to go to his house with Ernie for dinner, and they dined with us, he and his lover. I'm not friends with him anymore because he's done nothing but stonewall me and refuse to tell the truth about his warning to me about dire criminal Miami cops. Within a few months, I was arrested, Baker acted, and ultimately, in March of 2009, I was sealed in a cruiser with the windows shut and the engine turned off, sitting on my cuffed hands, and I'd been in extreme discomfort for over an hour while the officer slowly wrote up a fake arrest report saying I'd assaulted my lover, which is not true. He left me to die. I lasted one minute, and then I kicked out the side window with my bare feet and shouted, help, help, help. He wasn't coming back, but he did when I exploded that window. He came right back, ripped open the right rear door. I'm laying on my back. He's got a clear shot at my head with his fist. He karate chopped me three times on the head, and then I shouted. He didn't kill me, he didn't knock me out, so he put his thumbs hard on my neck. His name is G. Linares. He's an officer with Miami Police. I survived that attack, was put in jail for what's called a 21-day hold, even though all I had done was defend my life against false arrest and obvious murder attempt. I was going to be hotboxed, like when you seal a dog into a car and close the windows. You can't do that with a human being either. That arrest procedure after the Linares attack was horrible. They stood me up outside the cruiser. A dozen cop cars were there like hornets swarming, and a, a plainclothes Miami cop approached me, put his face into mine, and he said, Welch, you've become a real problem. I'm going to see to it personally that you never get an even break. In fact, you're going to do hard time. And he marched away. And then I was transported to Dade County pretrial. You can see in my, uh, in my own forum a thread called the horrors of the ninth floor. You can see what that was like. 
is incredible, hard to believe. All because I complained about a false traffic stop. So they could search my car for narcotic, which they found, a tiny amount. There were so many arrests in Baker Act since that first ever arrest of 6 November 2008 for the false traffic stop. It becomes almost a confusion to relate it all. But one followed another, one followed another. And every time the cops broke the law. There's no regard for law, and if you're a, a, a cop brutality victim, no attorney is likely to help you because they don't want to get involved. The cops control the, the so-called legal system. So, my only recourse right now, I may get to talk to the mayor's office next week. I hope they've invited me to come in and talk to them. So I will. But for right now, I'm Needling Mark. You can see my story at Miami New Times online. Mark Sarnoff Reed Welch. Just do a Google search and you'll see R-E-I-D M-A-R-C and see why I don't like Mark because he's protecting these guys, these bad male thug cops who used to sell, they don't anymore, I stopped them from doing it, crack pipes, we're on Commodore Plaza, there's my friend Mr. Moe's restaurant, very nice place, yes, just five months ago you could come down here, and I did on a bicycle ride, went around the corner to the convenience store and bought a crack pipe. They sold them right there while cops are standing by the counter enjoying free coffee, watching who's coming in and buying drug paraphernalia and making mental notes. Let's go buy the quick stuff because I'm on the way to Mark's house. So by antagonizing Mark, I hope uh, people will realize that he's just a cheap suit politician and I don't ever tell a lie. I am Mark Sarnoff's very first and there are no police. Sometimes there's as many as six cars there. Like I say, they get free coffee, nobody else does. But when I called and asked for a crack pipe then recently, the girl says, oh no, we never sold any such thing. That's not true, we never sold. Well, I bought four or five of them over the past year. When I begged my old pal for aid to help a friend who had been beaten by cops and terrorized by cops, I met Mark by chance in front of his home at the doggy park told them the story and I was shaking because I do shake when I relive this horrible set of experiences. He turned grayer than usual and he said to me, he murmured, Reed, I'm sorry, I, I can't help you. You're, you're in conflict with the city. And I've said to him many times, no, I'm not. I'm in conflict with you and a few thug cops. Up ahead is the Oak Avenue a fire station. This is where the paramedics come from when I get beat up by cops. They're nice people. I like firemen. I'm a former fireman of the U.S. Navy. I was a, an enlistee during the Vietnam War era over 40 years ago. I like firemen. Firemen don't beat people up, but some cops do. Good morning. Okay, this is a this is Virginia Street. This takes us right down to what I call Sarnoff Circle. The infamous boondoggle you can read about online, Mark Sarnoff Traffic Circle. He put this here in the early 90s to beautify his property and to allegedly slow down traffic. But what it really does, it costs a quarter of a million dollars. See me on YouTube, Sarnoff Signs. I'm a cop beating survivor. Sam Reed Welch. And anyway, see, I just tell people, I'm not sure many people go and look. People are terrified of getting involved, even being seen with me. That illegal sign, neighbors, I'm sorry, I'm going to take that down if you Okay, I've told you about this for days now. Illegal. If I liked the candidate, I wouldn't make a fuss over it, but this guy is a monster. Illegal sign again. That's going to come down and that's going to... You can put it up by your house. Okay? It's still going to be visible from the street. It just won't be such visual pollution. Now my mousy friend Mark, we're coming up to his home. This is Sarnoff Circle, the quarter million dollar boondoggle traffic circle that all the trucks have to run over. They can't make the circle. This is where Mark had his fence lined with signs. He had two here and he had three or four in the front. 
and there's the park. It was perfectly nice. You can see my video that I made last July before the park was redone. It was wonderful. It was a place for parks to run, for dogs to run and romp, and people to throw golf balls and frisbees. Here's Mark's home office compound. One, two, three illegal signs. They have to be, you know, one sign up by the house. Now, here's the park. It's all been redone, including this slab. The entrance to the park, and told this was redone about a month ago, the entrance was over there at the corner, but that's not so convenient for Mark. So Mark has redone it, so the entrance is right across from his front door. Isn't that nice? And look at all the plantings that have been put in. When I came, there's a walking path made of crushed shell that goes around. All the formal plantings. Sorry, I'm a journalist. Mark has put a lock on it. Okay, so I'm not going to hop the fence. But I'll get my... Yesterday morning, Saturday, I came on the bicycle and parked right there. Commissioner Sarnoff was standing over there near the small dirt pile talking to a couple of neighbors. I waved at him and he suddenly saw me and he pointed at me and he said, You! Get out of here! Get out of here right now! I'm calling the cops in one minute! Get out of here! And I said, no, I'm taking pictures. I'm a documenter. I'm, I'm a journalist telling people what a liar and thief and selfish son of a bitch you are. You had a cop come and put a gun on my head when I removed your illegal signs. He says, I don't care. Get out of here. Cops are coming. I've got a restraining order on you, Reed. I said, no, you don't, you liar. And of course, he doesn't have a restraining order on me because I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm not threatening his life, but I sure as heck am threatening his career. Look at this beautiful park. It's not at all suitable for dogs like it was before. How are the dogs going to be playing in this park without running into the shrubbery? And golf balls, pe I mean, tennis balls people toss will get lost in the shrubbery. And then there's an expensive underground sprinkler system. So dogs are going to get gaffed and people are going to trip on the sprinkler heads. And the uh, Capital Improvements Office, I talked to the manager and he said, he got me a quote. He said, oh, this was all done for uh, $140,000. Well, look at the July video. There was nothing wrong with the old park. It was flat, it was grassy, it was a little scruffy. Dogs and people loved it. It was a place to hang out. And it will be again, but it's not going to be so scruffy. It's going to be beautiful for his private view. Mark, this was my Sunday morning video. I'll be making more videos. I'm going to get you out of office. This is your old pal, Reed Welch. And don't send George, Lenar, uh, 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 George Gonzalez 2448 out to my house to shoot me dead like I did in August. And don't have Frank Torres and company come and mug me the next day for promising to defend myself from invading cops. Now I'm going to be putting this video up next to another video that, that cites the law. And the law says a person can defend themselves with deadly force if a cop comes and tries to get them and doesn't have a warrant and doesn't, hasn't followed due process. And none of you have followed due process anywhere in this system. Not from the jailers, not from the cops, not from the judges, not from the attorneys. And Richard G. Daniels, you watch them. You let those cops come into my property through your property on August 14th. And you watch them mug me and carry me out through your property. And you did nothing but stare. And then you slunk away, you lousy coward. And you're supposed to be a famous attorney. And Julian Krieger, my old attorney friend from over 30 years ago, the only help you offered to get me was say, if you would take psychiatric drugs, Reed, maybe I can get you an attorney. Well, can I get restitution? Well, maybe we can get you back to where you were before. I'll never be back to where I was before, Julian. And you know what? You won't either. Mark, I'm taking those signs down. This is the 150th time I've said, oh, good morning. They don't know I'm here. There's Mark's SUV, and there's Mark Sarnoff right now getting into his little car. He doesn't know I'm here yet. So sh this is like hunting snipe. My timing is always amazingly perfect. I don't believe in God, but you know what? I've just come here and this is all in one take. And here's my old pal, leaving in his little uh, SUV. It's a Porsche. That's like a $50,000 car, and the Mercedes is like an $80,000 car. But that's Mark driving the car. 
I'll give him a wave and of course he'll ignore me. He's going to see me in just a moment. There's Mark. Hello. Hello, old pal. He's going to pretend not to see me. See you on YouTube, Mark. Have a nice day. You know, it's almost like he's one of the Three Stooges. Torres and Gonzalez being two others. Okay, that's enough. I'm going to go to Home Depot and get my propane supply, go home and process my video, and post it up and share it with my good cop friends and the public at large. Have a nice day, everybody.